One of the areas where humans excel is in the destruction of our natural environment. We are unfortunately responsible for the loss of numerous species due to our activities, causing an immense number of species to become extinct. A plethora of animals have become extinct due to our hunting activities. This is an unfortunate result of our actions and serves as a reminder that we are the dominant species on the planet, for better or for worse. You may be astonished to learn about some of these legendary creatures that have been hunted into extinction. It's an eye-opening experience. Number 10. Javan Tiger As the name might suggest, the Javan Tiger lived on the Indonesian island of Java. Compared to some of the other animals on this list, the Javan Tiger is believed to have been wiped out relatively recently. Through a combination of hunting, the decline of its primary price species, the Rusa deer, and the destruction of most of the island's forests. Javan tiger were very similar to the critically endangered Sumatran tiger in both size and appearance, but with longer whiskers and a greater number of darker, almost jet black stripes. Wanting to turn the island's forests in the rice fields, the Javan tiger people routinely shot the tigers as well as laying poison to kill them and their prey. By the mid 70s, just 8% of Java's forests remained and within a few years, the Javan tiger had completely disappeared. Many animal experts are hopeful that there are still Javan tiger surviving out there somewhere. In fact, there have been a handful of unconfirmed sightings over the past decade. Most recently in 2017, rangers at Java's Yujong Kulan National Park snapped a photo of a prowling beast that they suspected might be one of these legendary creatures. However, scientists concluded it was actually a rare Javan leopard, yet another of the island species now listed as critically endangered. Number 9. Oryx. An ancestor of the bison, as well as the domestic cows we breed for food today, the oryx was a large species of wild cattle that inhabited areas of North Africa, Asia, and Europe. The average oryx bull was around 5.5 to 6 feet tall and weigh approximately 1,500 kilograms making it one of the largest land-dwelling mammals to have ever lived in Europe. While it had fearsome horns more than capable of goring a decent meal, it was actually an herbivore somehow supporting its extraordinary bulk on a diet of grass. Fossil studies indicate that the oryx existed for at least 2 million years. But by the 13th century, they disappeared from most of their known habitats, all except Eastern Europe. While humans, undoubtedly had a hand in the decimation of the oryx or through hunting and destroying their natural habitats to develop farmlands. The Polish royal court went to some lengths to try and rescue them. Unfortunately, it was too late. In 1627, the last survivor of the species died of natural causes in Poland's Jack Toro Forest. Now, scientists are attempting to reverse engineer oryx DNA found among descendant species to bring the legendary beast back to life. Operation Taurus is in its fourth generation out of a Plan 7 and is scheduled to conclude in 2025. Number 8. Giant Mole The giant mole was gigantic flightless birds that lived on South Island, the largest of the two main islands that make up what is now known as New Zealand, similar in shape to an ostrich. They stood approximately 12 feet tall over twice the height of the average human male and weigh up to 230 kilograms. With their long giraffes-like neck, they were able to reach vegetation, most land-dwelling creatures couldn't, while their powerful legs allowed them to cover large areas of ground at high speeds. Experts believe they lived for around 40,000 years until the 15th century. However, within approximately 200 years of the Polynesians settling in the area, every last giant mole had been hunted and killed, most likely for food. Studies have come up with several other scenarios that could explain why the giant mole was wiped out, such as volcanic activity or disease. Some experts have even suggested that giant moles were in decline for a thousand years before the Polynesians even arrived on the island. Although, more recent reports lend credence to the idea that the last survivors of the species died at the hands of hungry humans. Now it's time for the rare topic. We all know that the megalodon once existed, but how exactly did it go extinct? There are all sorts of theories, but one of the most prevalent and recent is that we humans may have hunted them into extinction. It may seem mad to think that humans could vanquish beasts as mighty as the megalodon, 
But when you look at just how much we humans have destroyed in our time, it's not that unrealistic. Many of the bones of megalodons that have surfaced make clear that many of them perished due to significant struggle. The question is what caused them such struggle? Was it another rival sea creature or was it us? The theorists who claim it was us have pinpointed that many megalodon teeth show signs of being hit with sharp objects, suggesting impact with human weaponry. What do you think? Did we drive the megalodon into extinction? As always comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and we might pin the best comment in relation to this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 7. West African Black Rhinoceros the extinction of the West African black rhinos at the hands of poachers, farmers and trophy hunters is one of the biggest tragedies to befall the animal kingdom. Dating back between 7 and 8 million years, these majestic creatures could grow as large as 6 feet tall and 12 and a half feet long weighing up to 1,400 kilos. Those horns could do some damage, but generally they were only used in self-defense. In fact, like the other black rhino subspecies, the West African black rhino was herbivores, feeding on plants, branches, and fruit, among other things. They were famously relaxed beasts, too often seen sleeping or wallowing in the mud near a watering hole. Experts believe their vision was quite poor, but their hearing and sense of smell were heightened as a result. In addition, they would listen out for signals from indigenous birds to warn them of any threats encroaching on their territory. By the turn of the 20th century, Poachers had begun to target West African black rhinos for their horns, considered a symbol of wealth and status. The horns were also believed to have powerful health benefits, although such claims were never medically proven. The population declined by an unbelievable 96% between 1970 and 1992. By 1980, only a few hundred remained down from an estimated 850,000, but the poaching continued. Yet again, Preservation efforts were too little too late. A West African black rhino hasn't been seen since the early 2000s, and they were officially declared extinct in 2011. Number 6. Host's Eagle Another native of New Zealand, South Island, the Host's Eagle remains the largest known species of eagle on record. So large, in fact, that it preyed on the giant mole, those enormous ostrich-like birds we discussed earlier. The females of the species were larger than the males with a wingspan of up to 3 meters and an average weight of 15 kilograms. Fossil studies reveal that despite having wings similar to a giant eagle, their legs and bills were more like a vulture, while their claws shared a lot in common with those of a tiger. The host's eagle struck its victims with some force at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour meaning flightless birds like the giant moa didn't stand a chance despite the fact they were considerably larger and heavier than their attackers. As we discovered at the beginning of this video, early human settlers on South Island were prolific hunters of large flightless birds, so it's likely the host's eagle followed the large moa to extinction for the simple reason that it had lost its primary source of sustenance. However, it's been suggested that the Maori people may have also killed them for food, Number 5. Quagga. Forget cat dog, what about zebra horse? Named after its distinctive call, the quagga is believed to have been a subspecies of the zebra rather than a separate species in itself. Unlike normal plain zebra, it featured a more brownish coloring and only had white stripes on its head and neck, making it look like some sort of a chop shop crossbreed of a zebra and a horse. Native to the plains of South Africa, the average quagga was around eight and a half feet long and four and a half feet tall. We don't know much about their day-to-day -day lives or behavioral patterns. Although, experts have surmised that quagga moved in packs of 30 to 50 and may have traveled in some sort of linear formation. Within 200 years of the Dutch settling in South Africa, the quagga were wiped out. Most were killed for their meat or fur, while others were captured and sent to European zoos. Sadly, while many of the zoos tried to preserve the species by setting up quagga breeding programs, they were met with universal failure. The last surviving quagga died in 1883 at the Nature of Artist Magistrate Zoo in Amsterdam, Netherlands, having lived there for 16 years. Attempts to bring the quagga back using selective breeding of zebras and DNA found in preserved quagga skins have apparently proven more successful than similar efforts to resurrect the oryx. However, 
Experts don't yet know if these animals share any specific genetic traits with the original quagga or if they're just aesthetic copycats. Number 4. Tasmanian Tiger When is a tiger not a tiger? Despite its nickname, the thalassine or Tasmanian tiger wasn't a tiger at all. It was actually one of the largest carnivorous marsupials that ever lived. Dating back some 4 million years, as you might have guessed already, it could be found primarily in Tasmania while smaller pockets inhabited areas of nearby New Guinea and mainland Australia. So why did we call it a tiger if it wasn't a tiger? Well, the Tasmanian tiger was so called because of the distinctive striped pattern in its fur towards its hind quarters. Aside from that, the creature had a long slender face, more like a wild dog, small round ears like a bear and an abdominal pouch, similar to that of a kangaroo. Unusually, it wasn't just the females who possessed these pouches to carry their young. The males also had them, which experts believe were intended to protect their nether regions. Despite its reputation for being quite timid, the Tasmanian tiger was once an apex predator. Unfortunately, a combination of bounty hunters, wild dingoes, early climate change, the destruction of much of the creature's natural habitat by European settlers, and the rapid spread of a mysterious disease are believed to have brought about the Tasmanian tigers extinct. Number 3. Pyrenean Ibex The Pyrenean Ibex was a type of mountain goat and a subspecies of the Iberian Ibex native to the Pyrenees. It's not known exactly how or why they became extinct, but there is evidence to suggest that human poachers played their part. In fact, the Pyrenean ibex isn't the first subspecies of its type to be declared extinct. The Portuguese ibex was wiped out in the late 1800s, having been hunted down by the locals for the stones in its stomach, which were purported to have potent healing powers. The last surviving Pyrenean ibex was found dead in 2000 killed by a falling tree. However, even before the species had become extinct efforts to preserve it, had led scientists to begin experimenting with cloning. In 2003, the first, and so far only cloned Pyrenean ibex was born. Number 2. Great Auk A despite its official name Pinguinus impennis as well as the fact, it looks exactly like a penguin. The Great Auk isn't related to the penguin at all. The word penguin is said to have originated as a nickname for the Great Auk. Later, when European explorers first discovered the lovable black and white birds we know today, they called them penguins based on their striking similarities to the great auk. These birds primarily inhabited the waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. On average, they were about two and a half feet tall and weigh around five kilos. But their tiny wings rendered them flightless instead, they took to the water, preying on fish and crustaceans. Considering they were such great swimmers, the great auk apparently had great difficulty walking on land and were highly prone to falling on their faces. Ah, the great auk became extinct in 1844, after the last breeding pair were killed by fishermen and sold to collectors. Experts believe humans are largely to blame for the demise of the species. Some were killed for food or fishing bait, with many more poached for their feathers. Number 1. Woolly Mammoth Ask anyone to name an animal that's now extinct, and if it isn't dinosaurs or dodos pound to a penny, it'll be the woolly mammoth. Both the Neanderthals and the humans that lived during the Ice Age targeted the woolly mammoth for its bones to use as primitive construction materials. There's also evidence to suggest the beast's ivory was harvested for use by both artists and weapon smiths. The last of these legendary creatures died out about 4,000 years ago. Experts believe the extinction of the woolly mammoth was caused by a combination of climate change and relentless hunting by humans. Same old story. Ah. 